So my family, um, I have my brother Shaquan, me and him are 11 months apart, and my sister Jada and me are 10 years apart. Having my brother Shaquan um, be diagnosed with autism at the age of 12, it was difficult like growing up and you know being the older sister but having to also be like another parent when it came to Shaquan and his difficulties. I'm 24 years old. Um, I, have a, I have a beautiful family with Janae, Jada, my mom, and my stepdad. They've been helping with my autism, and without them, I wouldn't have made it this far. So when I was born, um, my brother was already diagnosed, I'm pretty sure. And him going away for tr um, treatment and everything, it was just like normal, like that was just my life and that was the way I was used to living it. And him having autism was just always a part of him and that's how I know him. When he was three years old, um, I t did take him to get diagnosed because I knew something, just instinctively, I knew that there was something going on. And so I began the journey to actually go see um, help and support and find out what really, really was going on with him. And that journey lasted nine years because people didn't see what we saw. Um, he was managed very well by us. And so, um, you know, it did take us nine years for him to finally get a diagnosis. And by that time, he was in middle school and middle school was very, very challenging for him. We took him again to see if we could get somebody to look at him, and then finally he got the diagnosis of PDD NOS. PDD NOS is a pervasive developmental disorder and it's actually on the autism spectrum. Having to go away into a residential facility that was rather far away from our family and he was in a 90-day assessment program for two and a half years. Shaquan started to become a little bit more difficult so we had to make some drastic moves and that kind of hurt. And the system around mental health it was especially in the beginning, extremely difficult, just because there wasn't a lot of communication. We were told that Shaquan was gonna no longer live with us. And we were like, okay. And then it was, Shaquan is gone. Early on, the challenges is like, you just don't know what you don't know. So meaning um, in the system, it's, you know, they don't tell you right away. They don't tell you at all, actually you know, how the process works. So kind of learning on the fly how the process works, it's a challenge for myself, it's a challenge for most parents. Um, on top of just the trauma and the shame and the guilt that you feel um, because they make you feel that something that, that you did was wrong to cause this child to, ha to be the way that he is. The most difficult decision that I had to make um, to have him go away to residential. There wasn't enough support around that. I think the most difficult part was, you know, him not being there, like on day to day, not having him around um, when there was a sporting event, like I'm, I was playing basketball and him not being able to be at my games because he wasn't there. It wasn't normal, so that was really difficult. We struggled to try to figure out how this was gonna work with very little information. At first, when I was younger, I didn't know how to tell people about it. But as I got older, I knew more about his autism and I knew what it was, so I felt more comfortable with telling people about his story. But for the most part, when I was younger, I didn't tell people that he was away because I wasn't sure how to bring that up. No one came to support our family. No one from the system said, this is what it's going to be like, and we want to make sure that you and your daughters have the extra support around that. So they didn't provide that for us. And when he went away, they went away. 
I did a lot of research first to build up my own knowledge. I went to and I found different conferences inside our state that dealt with mental health. I put myself in support groups. I got counseling for myself and for my two daughters. I think a lot of people kind of ignore, you know, the siblings, because, you know, we're kids, so like, what do we know? But I really think that if someone was there to talk to about the whole transition and what was going to happen and, you know, how to answer kids in school when they ask you, where's your brother? Um, yeah, how was I supposed to answer that question? We are a middle class family. We did have um, really good jobs. At the time before he left, I was working for the state. So I had access to great health care. We had transportation. We had all those things that a lot of families do not have. We were able to have him come home for holidays and for school breaks. Having said that, you know, it could have still been helpful to have some support from the child welfare agency. We didn't know anything about the system. We didn't know other than what we heard. I would like to see in schools having teachers that really understand autism and working with kids like that. I know there's like a lot of special ed, but not all the people know how to work with people like my brother. And I would like to see everyone in the system have a positive attitude towards people with special needs because sometimes they even act negatively towards him and it's not fair. Because of Shaquan, I am exactly who I am today. Because of him, I am in the service of, you know, helping individuals with special needs. Uh, because of him, I, you know, I'm going to school for this. Because of him and because of our family's struggles, I understand that this is a huge need that needs to be met and I want to be a part of that. I need to be a part of that. I would like people to know that by my brother having autism, it's just a small trait of him. He's so much more of a person than that. It's like having brown eyes or something. You're not gonna judge that person based on having brown eyes. So his autism is just as small as that. The rest of him is so much more. I think it's a good thing that people are trying new things. A disability, like, they're not, they're not like giving up. They believe that whatever they can do, they believe and they have the ability to do it, even though they have disabilities. My family helped me by having positive confidence, responsibilities, good positive behavior, and believing in myself.